What's going on YouTube? I uh, just went on a pop hunt with a friend of mine. Uh, we went out to Burlington and uh, where else did we go? Uh, Woburn. First we went to Woburn, then Burlington. And I got a lot of pops today. And I'm just going to show you what I got. Let's check them out. <laughs> Alright, so first, <clears throat> this is one of the ones I got at uh, Newberry Comics. It's Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. I just picked up Fallout 4. The game is incredible. I love it. I didn't really like Fallout 3 very much, but this one is fantastic. This is one of the best looking Fallout Pops, I, I believe. The other one I really want is Deathclaw. He looks pretty damn cool, too. Alright, so I got that one. And then, this is the one I got at Harrison's Comics. Or, not Harrison's Comics. Harry, Harrison's Collectibles Comics, whatever. Anyway, they didn't have too much there, which was kind of a letdown. But they did have some exclusives. And this one in particular I was really happy to get. Walking Dead Rick Grimes. With blood splatter all over him. This is a really cool pop. It's uh, it's hard to find. You can get it on eBay. There's only three Harrison comics in Massachusetts. I think that's it in the world, actually. I'm not sure. But yeah, this one is really sweet. They had uh, a couple other Harrison exclusives, but they were kind of screwed up, so I didn't want to get them. All right, this one I felt kind of silly buying. We went to uh, Barnes & Noble, and this is the only one I got there. Because it is a New York Comic Con exclusive. It is Cookie Monster. <laughs> he is flocked. You know, he's got the uh, furriness to him. Which is really cool. This is probably the only Sesame Street pop I'll ever get. Because, you know, I'm not super into them. The only thing I didn't like about this is there was a little damage here. But they had a couple more and they were really really messed up so I just said ah the hell with it I'm not gonna pay thirty forty dollars for them online which is what they're going for right now so I grabbed it <clears throat> and next <clears throat> these are the ones I got at GameStop first off Mickey Mouse you know you gotta get Mickey Mouse if you're gonna have Disney ones you gotta have Mickey he is number one in the Disney series He's actually, I'm not sure if he's like super rare anymore. I mean, I know Steamboat Mickey is worth a ton. I don't know if Mickey Mouse is really rare, but I haven't seen him in stores like ever. It was the first time, so. I've been to a lot of Game Stops. The one in Burlington has a couple, but the boxes weren't perfect. But there was two that were good. And my friend grabbed the other one. And then I got the exclusive Lieutenant Simon Ghost Riley. Call of Duty. GameStop exclusive. I thought this was really cool because he's got the skull bandana on his face. This is really awesome. Sorry for the reflections from all my electronics and screens and stuff. But yeah, I think these are all... Well, no, two of them are GameStop exclusives. But yeah, there they got those. They got four of them. I thought it was pretty badass. But this one is my favorite of the uh, Call of Duty ones. It's Brutus, the zombie from Call of Duty. This is really like, great friggin' detail. Seriously. It's fantastic. Same box as the other one. But the detail on these are incredible. This one I love. And it's another GameStop exclusive. And this last thing I got is not a pop. I don't usually collect these things because I think they're kind of whatever. But... I love Jason Voorhees, so I bought a Jason Voorhees Dorbs. It's really cute. <laughs> you know, they have uh, Pinhead, Leatherface, and Freddy Krueger too. But out of all of them, I wanted this one the most because he's my favorite horror icon. I already have his pop too. I want the unmasked Jason, but that is really expensive. So yeah, that is what I got today. Uh, spent a good amount of money, but it was well worth it. I'd say, uh, my favorite of the day was probably 
the Call of Duty ones. I didn't even know there were Call of Duty pops out. I haven't seen them on the website or anything, so I'm happy I got those. And yes, that is it. Oh, I lied. I went to, uh, well, I, I think I got this, no, I got this at Newberry Comics too, the science fiction mystery figures. <clears throat> I already opened it because I was impatient. And what I got was Bender, which is like one in six, which isn't super rare, but I love Bender, so that was fine with me. I want Doc, too. A lot of the science fiction ones I don't really care for, because I'm not a big science fiction guy. But I would like the Iron Giant, him, Godzilla would be cool, Aliens, that would be nice. But that is it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe if you'd like. You know, uh, like my... Uh, video if you want uh, check out my friend Jeff's page uh, I forget what it is I'll I'll add a link to this all right have a good night day whatever later